What's going on friends? This is Carlos and Miguel from CP Marine and the Small Boat Repair Channel. And we're gonna go to a customer house. Uh, he wants us to uh, hook up the scanner in his Yamaha, 2004 Yamaha fuel injection. That's what we're told. Um, and it's two stroke. And apparently he changed the spark plug and he did some service. And the boat now starts running rough. So let's see what we got. Stay with me. A 2004 right or Yamaha 150 uh, fuel injection so we got here our poor for diagnostic right here as you can see the engine is running very rough you can barely run this engine so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, hook up the scanner and see if we get any code not all the time we get a good code and uh, but let's see if we're lucky right now we're connected here Okay, post call normal, everything is normal here, let's see. Water in the fuel, okay, we're, we're good with the gasoline in the fuel right here. <sighs> okay, shift compensation, okay, engine, okay, it's off, so that mean, this means that the, the, the kill switch is connected, right? Okay, so we don't have anything unusual so far. Okay, so we see right now we have 400 hours on this engine, which is pretty low for a 2004 and, and then it looks pretty clean Very so cool. yeah okay so we're, I don't see any codes here Not, nothing obvious here in the scanner everything looks you know pretty much normal we don't have anything special so um, it's, it's like I thought so at this point we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to check this you know how the fuel looks like or if it's uh, the throttle body clean or dirty Coil. and stuff on the stuff like that so after we got the cover up we see so much oil coming out from the from the throttle body so apparently the customer put too much oil on it because somebody told him to put oil just in case and that could be a problem but i said we, we couldn't find anything in the, in the computer no codes what i'm doing right now is going to check the compression once i got the spark plugs out you know it'd be easy for me to do it and, and uh, help us out with diagnostic go ahead okay we're in 120 which is good let's check the rest of them go ahead Are all of them are then about the same. Let me check the other ones. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna check the last one. Ok, 
Okay, now we know the compression is good in all the cylinders. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check the filters. Clean up the spark plugs a little bit. I'm trying to clean these. But uh, so far, I think it's a fuel delivery problem. So we maybe this uh, big part right here, which is not easy to fix. It's gotta open, it's a lot of stuff. It's a fuel pump inside here. But I don't wanna go there yet. I'm just gonna go for a simple, the normal basic. Since this engine's only have 400 hours. Spark plug back and um, we're gonna check uh, the spark. Which we don't have any code for spark in the computer, but it's always good to double check sometimes it still give you a spark but not enough so i'm gonna start and i'm gonna check each one each cylinder All right, we just done uh, with the customer and we found two problems, which were um, oil in the gasoline, too much oil in the gasoline. That engine should not have oil and gasoline premix because he, the lubrication system in that engine is working perfect. So somebody told him to put, to put oil in there, in the gasoline some, for some reason and somehow the, it was gonna help to, to uh, make the engine run better, which is not true. It's gonna actually make it run worse, but whatever. And also we found out the four coils were not firing. We tested in a high RPM and four of them were not working. Just keep in mind that this engine will shut down two cylinders when it is in uh, an idle and neutral. That's for the engine going on gear without damaging any of the gear from the propel system. But in this case, we were four coils. So the engine was running really rough and four, I'm um, only two coils were pretty much working, two cylinders. So it happens a lot. We, we were um, able to see the coils and they look very rusted. And who knows, it's been there, they've been there for almost 20 years. So um, it was time to change and I asked to recommend the customer to buy all of them from a website called um, boats.net. That's what I recommend. And he's he gonna get it and gonna give us a call. All right, so I hope um, this video helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you guys later.